They were not going to miss an opportunity to give these people the opportunity to be saved. It, it didn't matter. <coughs> it didn't matter what danger they were in. And so they, they lay into them. Verse 30. The God of our fathers raised Jesus from the dead, whom you had killed. <laughs> right. You, you got in their face. The God of our fathers raised Jesus from, from the dead, whom you had killed by hanging on a tree. Mm -hmm. You killed him mm -hmm. with your power, but a power greater than yours raised him from the dead. Amen. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you had killed by hanging him on a tree or cross. Mm -hmm. God exalted him to his own right hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Okay, so this Jesus is no longer on earth. He rose from the dead, and he's, and he's now at the right hand or at the, at the place of power of God. Amen. Amen. As prince and savior that he might give repentance and forgiveness of sins to Israel. God has a plan. Amen. God's plan is to save mankind. Amen. Yes. Amen. And God's going to carry out his plan. Yes, he is. With us or without us. Amen. We are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. So he's talked about God the Father. We must obey God rather than men. Amen. The God of our fathers raised Jesus. He's talked talk about the divinity, the exaltation of Christ. And then he talks about the Holy Spirit who is given to those who obey him by repenting of their sin and inviting him to come into their life. Amen. Amen. And so I would say that he's comparing their authority to God's authority, and they're woefully lacking mm -hmm. in authority. Amen. And when they heard this, they were furious and wanted to put Jesus, wanted to put them, these people to death, like they did Jesus. Wow. Amen. When they heard this, instead of repenting, instead of submitting to God, who was clearly revealed as to his will, in, in the message of these disciples, they're furious. And they want to kill these men. He wanted, they wanted to put them to death. Wow. So they didn't care the danger they were in. They considered human authorities in need of the same gospel as ordinary people. And were fearless before them. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Wow. So they would have put them, put them to death. Of course, we know that the second that the the, the body died, their spirit would their spirits would have gone immediately to be with the Lord. So they, they would only gain. Amen. They wouldn't lose. Amen. They would only gain. That's it. But God wasn't ready for them to leave. He had He had a work for them to do. Praise so, God. You know, if you're in God's will, you can't die. Amen. Amen. Until God's ready for you. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So a Pharisee, one of their own number, named Gamaliel, yes. who that was who Paul studied under. He um, he spoke up. He was honored. Look at verse thirty-four. Why was he honored? Wow. Because he had a lot going for him <laughs> than the rest of them did. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God. Amen. <laughs> you know, anybody that, that thinks they can outsmart God is stupid. Amen. They're idiots. Amen. And Gamaliel had way more sense, way more wisdom than all of them together. That's right. He said, Pharisees, that a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law who was honored by all the people, Wow. Stood up in the Sanhedrin and ordered that the men be put outside. Mm. He was the closest one to salvation of the whole bunch. Mm. You know, when right. a person will humble themselves before God, they're not far from salvation. Amen. 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 And then he addressed them, men of Israel, 
Consider carefully what you intend to do to these men. Amen. That's Some right. time ago, Thutis appeared claiming to be somebody. Come on now. And about 400 men rallied to him. <coughs> but he was killed. And all his followers were dispersed. And it all came to nothing. But after him, Judas the Galilean appeared in the days of the census and led a band of people in revolt. Mm -hmm. He too was killed and all his followers were scattered. Amen. Come on. Therefore, Amen. in the present case, I advise you, leave these men alone. Amen. Let them go. For if their purpose or activity is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you Amen. will not be able to stop these Amen. men. Amen. You will only find yourselves fighting against God himself. Amen. Well, amen. 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 His speech persuaded them. <coughs> they called the apostles in and had them flogged. That was the most they could do was flog them. That's pretty bad. That's a torture. <coughs> yes. But then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. But the flogging didn't seem to affect them. <laughs> amen. It just happened amen. that if God is for us, <laughs> amen. That's right. Amen. The amen. The apostles left the Sanhedrin not crying, <clears throat> not looking for a care now. <laughs> amen. Rejoicing because they've been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name. Amen. Amen. That's right. Day after day in the temple courts or from house to house, they never stopped Praise God. teaching. They had no Amen. time of recovery. <laughs> they didn't take care of their wounds. They went about the business of what God had commanded. That's right. They Amen. must obey God <coughs> rather than men. That's right. That's right. And they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. Praise God. Amen. 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 